In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a circular progress bar or a loading screen in Premiere Pro. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new column mate. So usually what you will do is to select new item over here and select column mate. But I've already created one here, so I'm just going to drag this onto my timeline. Now the next thing you need to do is to create an ellipse. So come over to this rectangle tool over here and hold it. And you will see rectangle, ellipse and polygon. I'll select the ellipse tool. And come over to my preview screen over here and draw an ellipse but you need to hold down sheet so you can draw a perfect ellipse next go to your essential graphics tab and hit align and transform to align it properly and come down to appearance and unselect fill and select stroke and you can increase the amount of stroke to whatever you like i'm going to set mine to 20 looks fine for me now to animate this go over to the effects library and search for the radial wipe effect and select the radial wipe under obsolete, not the one under transition. Select the one under video effects, radial wipe under obsolete. And in the effects control tab under radial wipe, select the stopwatch next to transition completion. Next, move your playhead to the end of your monitor over here and increase the value of transition completion to about 100. I'm going to move this keyframe to the end of my clip. Now, if we go back and hit play, you can see what we have created over here. Now if you want to change the speed, all you need to do is to come over here and move these keyframes together and the moment you do that and hit play, you will notice that it's going to move way faster. So I'm going to take this back. So to make it more realistic, what you need to do is to select this graphics layer over here and duplicate it by holding down Alt and dragging it one track above and select the bottom graphics layer. Now go to essential graphics and select the shape and change the fill color to gray. And move over to effects control and delete the radial wipe effect. And if we go back to the beginning now and hit play, you can see what we have created. 